we're in Smelly's kitchen and we're gonna cook up some bone broth. I also got some wings going here, so let's get the bone broth out of the old microwave. We had the bone broth, this is epic bone broth. I had it in there for about a minute and 30. Got some good steam going to it. Um, other brands of bone broth don't have much salt in them. And I don't really like, like that as a flavor profile. So um, this bone broth already has a pretty good amount of salt in it, but I'm gonna throw in a little bit more. Got some real salt, gonna chuck some of that in there. Just a little bit. That'll be good. I can add more later to add that flavor profile. Now, we're gonna throw some coconut oil in there. Coconut oil also comes like this. It would work like that, but I like to have it more like this to try to thicken it up a little bit, give it some body. So we're gonna just throw a scoop of it in there, like yay. Well, bam, throw it in. It'll melt away. Now for some crucial ingredients. We're gonna throw some butter in there. You can get grass-fed butter, you can get as fancy as you want with it. This is just some clover uh, organic butter. About two teaspoons of it in there. Ba bam Now we got, we're gonna th throw a little bit of uh, MCT oil in there as well. Now we're getting a lot of fat in there, huh? I like to do this sometimes in the beginning of a keto week to really heighten the amount of fat that I'm gonna intake. So this will have some crazy amount of fat and really won't have much protein in it at all. We're gonna throw some eggs in there. You wanna get omega-3 eggs. It has been said and told to me, it takes 11 regular eggs to equal the amount of omega-3s that are in one omega-3 organic egg. They cost more, but they might have a little bit more oomph in your diet. I'm gonna crack it on here because I cracked it on there. It's too, that's too fat, it won't give me a good crack. So crack it open, well bam, right in there. I know everyone's asking about salmonella. I've never, I've never had one issue with any of this. Sometimes what I'll do is I will take an egg white and just dump it out into here. Get rid of one egg white. That way we're even adding extra fat, extra creamy, and this is gonna be extra, extra yummy. There are multiple ways to kind of mix this bad boy up. One way is through a Ninja Blender, which works fantastic. But if you use a regular blender that's not gonna screw on like the Ninja Blender, you're gonna end up exploding everything all over the place. And if you do use a Ninja Blender, you wanna make sure that the cup is not too high because this is hot. Does that make sense? It'll explode all over the place. Hopefully you guys can understand what I'm talking about. So. I think we have everything in there that I want. Uh, oh, I'm gonna add in uh, a little bit more stuff here. I'm gonna get a little bit of, let's see, we got some seasoned salt over here. And then I have one of these guys. What is this one? I'm getting old. I gotta do the old guy, kind of like look back deal. So these are just, these are just add-ons, just you know, whatever your preference is, whatever your taste buds are like, this is just a little bit of seasoned salt. This guy here, we got some garlic. Gonna add a little bit of garlic, just a wha bam. Kind of give it a little, little kick. And then this is a habanero salt. So this will really give it a, a nice, that'll make it spicy on the way out too, you know what I'm talking about? So now, Hopefully I don't have this thing too full. Actually, maybe I do have it too full. Maybe I should go, I'm gonna go up a notch. We'll just go up way a notch just in case. Make sure I don't spill this all over while we're filming here. So we go like yay, oh bam. Key ingredient is also gonna be pepper. I don't usually use that much pepper and stuff, but right here it's important. Would you expect anything less from the people's coach? Meathead millionaire. Can't grind all pepper, gotta do it this way. A good amount of pepper, it's gonna really add to it. So now we have one of these things, this is called an infusion blender. Inexpensive, easy to utilize. Again, you could use a ninja blender as well. But I'm gonna put this down in here like this. Put it down like that, it's flat. <laughs> Ready for takeoff.
And this is the face we make when we're doing boner bra. There we go. Now, you can see how into this Daisy is. She's pretty fascinated by all this. Now we do the taste test here. See how our boner broth turned out. Oh my God. It is super, super duper awesome. It's really uh, savory. This could be something that can help with hunger. This could be something that helps with cravings. Uh, it's gonna deliver a good amount of calories. Uh, I also will sometimes, because you can kind of see you can kind of see how like uh, frothy this is, right? I sometimes will dip my steak in there. How fat is that? Uh, this is a bonus round you're getting here cooking with me today because I'm also making up some wangs. So we got some wang sauce going here. What I did was, is I took some of the fat from our air fryer, had it in this guy here, this air fryer. We cooked up the chicken. I had a little bit of fat in here. I threw some of that fat in there. And I also threw uh, a little bit of coconut oil and some red hot. Probably add a little bit more red hot to the mix here. We use um, butter that doesn't have salt in it, unsalted butter, because we don't want these wings to get too uh, salty. I love salt, but sometimes it can be a little too much. So we take a big old chunk of butter and bam. Let that melt in there. And we're gonna throw in, what else is I gonna chuck in there? Throw in a little bit of pepper. Let this guy go again. Not too much. Give it a little bit of a mixer. Boop, boop. Gotta throw in the sound effects. Butter's melting down. And we need to throw in this guy. This is a key ingredient right here. These pork grinds. I got these bad boys off Amazon. Nothing complicated about it. Just throw them in there. You can get all your ingredients off of Amazon. I'd suggest that. It just makes everything a lot easier. And you want to get a good amount in there just to kind of dry everything up a little bit. And then what we're going to do from here, make sure it's not clumpy. You don't want a big old clump. Well, maybe you do. A big old clump of bacon bits, basically. Kind of get that going like that. But you can see the consistency is pretty good. Like it's not real thick, but it turned out pretty thick for not having, it's mainly all like oil. It's mainly just all fat and sauce. And then we'll take these guys and we will chuck them in. Or we can actually just put them right here, it'd be easier. Like this, oh bam, oh bam, oh bam, oh bam, oh bam ski, oh bam ski. Now we're just gonna take this and we're gonna dump all this sauce, hopefully not all over the place. Hopefully get some of it on the wings here. Let me shut this off so we don't die. Shoot. Whoa. And we're gonna go here. Food porn, look at that. <clears throat> now, so we don't have, we didn't have regular buffalo wings. So that's why we have these chicken thighs today, but this works equally as well with this. And we can leave this like this. And if I wanted to, too, I could um, kind of cook the chicken. I can put the chicken back in this pot and cook it up a little bit in the sauce so it will kind of stick a little bit better and thicken up on there. But there you go. Now you know how to make some amazing bone broth, some epic bone broth. And now you know how to make some delicious wings. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Stay on that keto, keto diet. Catch you all later.